So uh, in this question, you can see that the regions are given by the inequalities x square plus y square is less than or equal to 2ax and y square is greater than or equal to ax and x comma y is greater than or equal to 0. Now this inequality which is x comma y is both greater than or equal to 0. This represents the first quadrant. This represents the first quadrant. Since in first quadrant we know both x and y will have positive value. Now this one is the is actually the equation of the parabola which is y square equal to ax and this is the equation of the circle which is x square plus y square that is equal to 2ax. Now we can write this as x square minus 2ax plus a square plus y square that is equal to a square means we are adding a square on both sides. Why is it so? So as to convert this one into a perfect square. It means we can write it as x minus a whole square plus y square that is equals to a square. Okay, so from here, uh, yeah, so this is the equation of the circle. Now we can draw the circle. So this circle has the center, center is a comma zero and the radius is equals to a units. Now, if we draw the circle, now this one is the y-axis and this one is the x-axis. Now, uh, the circle will be actually like this. It will pass through the origin. Now, the center will be a comma zero and the radius is a units means this is the origin and this point will be 2a comma 0. Now, um, the graph of this parabola will be somewhat like this. Now, x square plus y square is good, is less than 2x. Now we can see that origin, yeah, suppose if you put a, a comma 0 here, will a comma 0 satisfy? Now a square is obviously less than 2a square. So yeah, so it means that a comma 0 will satisfy this. It means that this inequality represents the region inside the circle region within the circle. Now, this one, suppose if I put a comma zero here, will it satisfy? Now, zero is greater, is not greater than or equal to a square. So it means that a comma zero will not satisfy, will not satisfy this inequality. It means that the region which we have to find that is only this. Since we need only in the first quadrant means we have to find only this region, the area of this shaded part. Now we need to find the coordinate of the point B where where the, the parabola y square equal to ax. We can solve it and we can write y equals to root ax. Since y, y equals to root ax will be the equation of this branch which is above the x-axis. Now, for this circle, the equation of that part, which is above the x-axis, for this, we have to solve this one, actually. Then we will get y square equal to a square minus x minus a whole square. So it means we will get y equals to square root of a square minus of x minus a whole square. So, for this, it will be y equals to root over a square minus of x minus a whole square. Okay. So the coordinates of this point B, the coordinates of the point B will be, suppose, uh, so we need to solve this equation and this equation. So we can say that x, x minus a whole square 
uh, or simply we can do like this that is your so one second means we can say x square plus ax that is equal to 2ax means x square minus ax that is equal to 0 it means i can say x times x minus a that is equal to 0 it means x will be equal to 0 or a it means they are intersecting at x equal to 0 the circle and the parabola they are they are intersecting at x equal to 0 means on the y axis and they are also intersecting on this straight line actually this point should come here actually one second the graph should be um, like this actually now this is x equal to a okay so the coordinates of the point b will be a comma so if we put a a here then we will get a also so it is a comma a um, hence and we can see that from um, x equal to 0 to x equal to a uh, the value of this uh, this circular part is higher than the parabolic part. It means the value of your a square minus x minus a whole square. This value is actually greater than root ax for all values of x belongs to 0 to a. Have you understood? Okay. So now therefore the required area of this shaded region that will be the integral from square root of a square minus x minus a whole square uh, dx from 0 to a minus we have to do integral root ax uh, dx from 0 to a okay so if we solve it then we will get so the required area that will be equal to the integral from 0 to a square root of a square minus x minus a whole square dx minus that is square root of uh, integral square root of ax dx from 0 to a let me check once uh, yeah that is it so this will be the square root of so here we can do one thing here we can do some substitution so let here we can take let x minus a equals to t then we can have dx will be equal to dt and since x is going from 0 to a so so d will go from d will go from minus a to 0 have you understood so therefore this we can write it as integral minus a to 0 over a square minus t square dt minus integral 0 to a root over a into root x dx now therefore the required area that will be equal to now this integral will be uh, t by 2 sorry Sorry, uh, this will be t by 2 square root of t, uh, a square minus t square plus a square by 2 sine inverse t by a and that we that will go from minus a to 0 minus this will be root a integral root x dx from 0 to a. Now this will be equal to suppose if you put 0 here this will become 0. And if you put 0, this will also become 0. So this will be your 0 minus. Now if you put minus a here, this will again become 0. And this will become a square by 2 times sine inverse minus a by a. So this is sine inverse minus 1. Minus root a. And this will be x power half plus 1 divided by half plus 1. And this will be 0 to a. Now this will be equal to your minus a square by 2 times sine inverse minus 1 is minus pi by 2. 
minus root a times this is this will be 2 by 3 times this will be a power 3 by 2 so this will become a square pi a square by 4 uh, minus this is 2 by 3 times this will be a power half plus 3 by 2 that is a square so that is your Therefore, the answer is pi by 4 minus 2 by 3 a square. This much square units. This is the final answer. Thank you.